Yeah. Hello everyone, I am an uh, uh, assistant professor from Indian Institute of Science. It's one of the premier institutes in India uh, and uh, I am a faculty uh, there. I have started as a team leader an experimental high energy physics program and we are part of this uh, huge collaboration, uh, compact muon solenoid uh, collaboration and we, uh, we started, we are only two year old in, the, in this uh, huge collaboration and uh, yeah, sorry. And uh, I, in the past, when I wanted to pursue PhD, I was preferring to go into the theory stream, and I applied for the PhD position in the same in Indian Institute of Science. But I was not I was not offered the position, so I, I went to look for uh, other opportunities. So I I landed up being an experimental high energy physicist. So thanks to that like I couldn't uh, get an opportunity to PhD in theory. Otherwise, I would have ended up being a theory person. But uh, fortunately. Uh, that shaped me <laughs> in a different aspect and I start a new group uh, from scratch at the same place where I wanted to do PhD as a faculty. Okay, so not as a student, but as a faculty. So that's like really an awesome. So uh, wh what I would like to say is uh, if, you, if you wanted to do something else and you end up doing something else, but that's not a, a constraint. So it's, it's basically that you are, you are made to do something else and uh, you establish yourself in some other aspects so you should not be disappointed that like, I didn't get that particular aspect at that point of time, but probably you'll start something much more beautiful and uh, 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 what should I say, even higher uh, in, in the field in a different aspect, uh, in, in the same place. It could, you could land up in the same place, but as a faculty, not as a student, but as a faculty. So it, it should be, you should take this as an inspiration, so you should not dis get disappointed that failures. And uh, one more thing is like when I started my uh, um, career in this experimental field, I was uh, uh, quite skeptical whether I will uh, stay back in this field, uh, even though I was, uh, I was doing fine as a PhD student as well as in the po postdoctoral career. But uh, somehow things fell in place and I kind of continued staying back in the same field. Uh, uh, and uh, now I feel that it's really a cool decision. I could uh, kind of uh, get motivated students and ask them to, or guide them to be uh, in the uh, stay in this field not just uh, what should i say in the research aspect but like even their professional and personal personality development also I, i'm able to contribute to th those aspects as a faculty uh, okay the, it's like building a group from scratch takes a lot from you but uh, that's really challenging even though it's challenging but like it's really uh, satisfying experience so it's really cool to uh, take the risk and uh, plunge into the thing which comes in your way and uh, one more thing I would like to say is, uh, as I told, I was skeptical, uh, but like a lot of people helped me uh, on my way uh, to build up this professional career. I really would like to thank all those people when I needed the support. They were, uh, they were always there to support me. So irrespective of the gender, like I, I could approach uh, <laughs> anyone who was collaborating with me at a various point of time, and uh, they never, the gender never came into picture when I was uh, needed. I needed the support from them, and they really helped me out in uh, this. And working at CERN and being part of this CMS collaboration, it's like a really uh, is a scintillating experience and the atmosphere is like really nice. So uh, just to add one more thing, I'm a bit more spiritual person. So I prefer to go to the uh, ashrams, like that's what we call in uh, India. So for me, uh, CERN looks like a, a scientific ashram. It's not like the spiritual ashram, but like a scientific ashram. So you come here and get energized, re-energized, so you feel like coming back here again, irrespective of what your age is, like uh, <laughs> at what point of time in your career you are. So that's like really an awesome experience. And uh, coming back to uh, people who are interested in uh, pursuing career in science or any, any other field. So I would say uh, if you stay focused, you'll be able to achieve uh, the goals. And uh, moreover, uh, you should not uh, think that like, uh, okay, I'm, uh, I have uh, limited capabilities or uh, I have some co constraints coming from uh, the what should I say, social, social co constraints or financial constraints or even with respect to if you come across even the gender biases, that should not limit yourself. You should like take that, that as a stride on your side and then uh, uh, that's like a challenge. You should take it as a challenge and like move ahead. Uh, actually, that's a kind of... Uh, gives you much more strength even though you feel that that's an obstacle but like that's that gives you more, much more strength to move forward and uh, 
it should be like kind of one level, one level, uh, as in the video game, <laughs> you should take it as a game in the uh, level one up in the game and then pursue your career. And uh, yeah, yeah, so. Uh, that was much. That was much more. 